Y'all already know how's it going. Welcome to another episode of, of the John Graves Show. I just sat through pain, okay? And I... I, I, I might need counseling after that shit. You know what the funny thing is, though, is that basically I thought that all of the other anime watchers out there who saw Death Note, like, that they were just kind of overreacting and everything, that they were saying that, that the movie really wasn't all that great. And yeah, comparing some scenes to, to um, the anime, obviously the anime is better. You know, well, not necessarily because it has way more time. It's a 37 episode series. So again, if you look at the first half of everything, it's like, yeah, like it's way more condensed. And Light is a very different character in the anime than how he is in the uh, in this live action movie. So again, taking away the anime context and just looking at this purely from a movie standpoint, Still ain't good, okay? Terrible. It's still really bad. Very terrible. I mean, again, the only character who that you can kind of like is L, really. Only because... because he's a black guy that looks like a ninja. Actually, no. not Actually, no, not that. It's the fact that he's a very smart, cal, uh, cal, calculating guy who does seem seem to be really smart and does kind of put all of the pieces together when it comes to... This is how he he is killing people. He has this kind of anagram, and he's not from Japan. He's here in um, uh, Seattle, and all these weird deaths they started around this area, and we and we need to follow these people because they have access to to this much information. And it, and he's really smart, and I really like it. Problem is though, is that this is one guy trying really hard versus a lot of other people who are kind of incompetent. Or basically, I don't know what they're doing, you know. And the thing is, the fact that normally they get a heart attack be writing the film no, he got the power of Final Destination and <laughs> true to make a series of events happen and then lead up to a death scene. I'm like, all that dumb shit lead up to a boy to lose his head. I'm like, this is Final Destination. I mean, like, originally, like, seriously. <laughs> Or, or, originally, the Death Note was basically you write someone's name in it, and if their name is written, written in there within 40 seconds, that person dies of a heart attack. Okay, like no player's choice, no basic process of a, uh, of elimination. Their name is in there, they get a heart attack. Simple as that, right? And they kind of perverse this thing where basically it does feel like Final Destination, or like this, or at the end of the movie, they tried to make. Light seems smarter than what um, than what he actually is by trying to fake his death, death and go through this coma thing. When it's like, you could have easily just did this if you would have just wrote that. Yeah, Mia takes 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 the book. She doesn't die, die. You burn her page, and basically she she um, um takes credit as Kira, and then she kills herself like in the uh, uh, like in prison or, or something of that nature. Yeah, that would be a smarter thing to do instead of writing a complicated ass scene killing off two more people. Well, and, well, not six more people. <laughs> yeah, then lead up to L. Tech, I think they, L actually write his name in it? They left it up to interpretation like with um, with um, um, saying that humans are interesting, you know, because he said the same thing like, like uh, on the last episode of Death Note. So again, it's like they're trying in, trying, trying to like do the same thing there. But there's a problem with this one. And strictly speaking, there is a problem with with Light, um, whatever his uh, last Turner. name, Turner. Yeah, that garbage. And um, and um, Mia, you know, because she's not Misa Amane, she's Mia, of course. So they're kind of looking at this thing where. Well, well, now, yeah, he gets the Death Note, same as how Light gets it, like, in uh, in the anime, just falls from the sky, he gets it, and apparently, he kind of, well, originally in the anime, he kind of has it, and he's like, well, yeah, like, this book is probably BS, but I'm curious about it, so let me just go ahead and test it, so he just writes names in there upon the, um, um, uh, that uh, he sees on news, uh, up, up on the news, like, like, criminals and everything, and it's like, oh, wait, it actually works? And then because of that, it becomes this thing of, well, yeah, he kind of has to hide the Death Note because if anybody touches the damn book, they can see Ryuk. And Ryuk will tell on him. So it's like, yeah, I can't let people get get their hands on this. Yeah, he decided to show me of this. And 
her pussy instantly got wet. Well, actually, it was the thing of, well, well now, he has a death note out, <laughs> like, uh, upon the bleachers reading it for some goddamn reason. I don't know why. And then he showed her, man, stop the guy for killing this woman and her kids, leaving him getting hit by a motherfucking police van. And she's like, well, damn. Her pussy was wet as hell, and they made out right after that. And basically, the story from that point for those two characters is is it is to fuck and kill people, fuck and kill people. That's it. Like, that's Sociopaths. Their, like that's their entire story plot all the way until the end of the goddamn story, where basically yeah, she wanted to become this hero as he means something to the world. She didn't want to become a hero. She just wanted to death note. Yeah, I know what she wanted. She said she did everything she did didn't matter until now. She's making a difference. Okay, so looking at this movie like on its own, because the comparisons they will happen, but looking at this movie on on its own, does Light seem like a smart guy to you? No, he just seemed like a goofy ass kid. Speaking of which, how how do you get the de de detention from doing other people's homework? Why would they go in his book bag to begin with? Well, the papers were strewn about. Yeah, they, they did fall fall off, but damn it. Normally, you just put them back in and start reading them. You know, but even then, it's like, wait, so, so, it's, so I get detention for doing other people's homework? And they ain't able to explain, like, after the detention room got fucked up, how do you manage to get out of there around nobody saying that? Or telling him to clean that, but... Um, out the missing, how did Ill even find him at the end? Like, literally located where he was running at. Well... L again, he's a smart character, so I kind of just deduce all that down to him being big smart. The real question you should be asking is how is he this ath athletically fit? Yeah, to be a sleepy dude that don't never go to sleep, you running in a motherfucking hunchback position, jumping over shit, just running, acrobatic. Running like a Jaguar man? Oh yeah, yeah. that's wonderful. You were doing parkour like a motherfucker. I was sitting there like, how is he doing this? But basically, that is the but that's the highlight of Elmo because I don't really think he even has a terrible moment. You know, he doesn't. Really. Like we came in there, we found out that homeboy got killed. Uh, when uh, he's getting really uh, emotional, like that's kind of when they started started like messing his character up when they're making him super emotional. When it when it's like you've gotten the character down. Like, or at least from the adapt, like you have adapted this character way more authentically than you've done, like and Misa. So why would you start messing up now by uh, making him really emotional and just doing things like out of, like say like doing say like doing things without proof, proof or like any um um or or any evidence whatsoever? It's just yeah yeah I know Light is basically the person who has a death note. Right. Or light is uh, Kira. How do you know that? Well, now because every other person who's been on um, uh, um, uh, who's been on TV, you know, like they've they've died and his father hasn't. So that must mean, you know, and also he killed his own dad. And also, you know what? Can I tell him you better kill him? Actually, no. The actually no. See, like comparison time. The difference is though is that in the anime they thought that wasn't it, like they didn't think that light was was Akira all that much, but Light's father does does die and do uh, and do you know what Light does in the anime? He plays it off. Or at least or or at the very least he gets all emotional and shit. And then in his mind he's like, I don't want to say, say say he's like they're not gonna trick me into revealing myself as Kira because they try to use his father's death as a means to try and prove that like He's an unfeeling, cold-hearted killer who would kill his own father to kind of get out of like um a being um being um, um caught. And he's like, yeah, like he kills his own father. So it's like, I don't fucking care. Like I so like I have a god com complex. This guy don't really got that shit. It's like it's like, well, I can't kill my father because I asked my father. You know, I but still but that trust is love though, bro. I just can't get over that. But also on top of that too, it's also the thing of. Well now, L, you didn't die, so the fuck you talking about? Like that's not a real deduct like I can't piece that together. You know, it's like, well yeah, I did a press conference, I didn't die, so yeah, like he can't be so yeah, I suspect that he's Kira, but his father goes on and he doesn't die, and forty of my agents 
Well, actually, that's the part man, where Misa fucked up at, because, because, because Light was telling me, like, yeah, but yeah, uh, if you kill those agents, when they're following me, of all people, even if you kill them all, like, they're gonna come back to me. So, right. you know, they all committed suicide. They thought that he had some kind of supernatural powers. Well, that's what he thought at first, so, I, so I'll give that to him. You know, comparisons, though, is that for... Like, it's weird how that they took two sides of one character and made two characters and then just kind of snuffed out the other one. Because they, cause they took two sides of Light from the anime and made it made it Light and and Misa, where she is the one who wants to kill people and, be, and become a god, but don't got the brain power. And apparently at the end, he does have, he does have the, the brain power, but doesn't have the drive to kill people. So it's weird. You know, especially since that they were killing obvious people who really kind of didn't need need a lot to die. It's like you're killing a little bit too much there. But then again, that was I think I think that was a uh, monologue time or um what do you call it? Shit. Um, Epilogue. No, 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 not that. The thing where like they go through shit really fast. Uh, series or events unfold at once. <laughs> no, not that. that. In, no, not that. Uh, in between the sex killings, it's like no, man, after that. that what you on that, that that damn Tristan's love like her pussy got wetter the more he killed. Well, well, that's kind of how that went. That shit crazy. The only fun thing, the the only thing that that really kill kills me the most is basically the fact that when L does actually confront him the first time in that diner, which I showed you the diner scene like in the mm-hmm. uh, in the anime. Which is that the second that he sees him, it's like, yeah, you're Kira. You know, like, I know how you said, like, I know you are. You, you said, like, you can't fool me. And what I say, and like, within like the like, like a minute of the conversation, you don't understand the forces that are kind of happening. Right? You're told on yourself, bro. <laughs> Aren't you supposed, supposed to be smart? Yeah, we're more smarter than the anime. You know, in the anime, he's like, "Well, now, if I said this, he's gonna find out that." So, you know, yeah, you know, he's like, "Well, yeah, like the smarter my answer, the more you're gonna suspect me." So, you know, I'm so, so you know, I'm not who I say. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not Kira. So, until you can prove to me that you're not Kira, you know, it's back and forth. I really like it in the anime. This, it's kind of just, well, <laughs> well. I want to kill some people because my mother got hit by a car. The movie. You know, my my mother got hit by a random driver. He got off, and then I said he got pierced by a steak knife. And that could have been the end of it. You could just put the book down. You know, and then basically because he was chasing vagina. You know, because basically he's kind of a dweeb who's said so like who's sitting there talking about some yeah yeah man like this girl she loves me you know you know like um uh, the cops are on me and they all died it was um uh, Ryuk who did it Ryuk wrote those names in there and I'm like dude your bitch did it are you that fucking stupid yeah I knew her the whole damn time she got power on me. You asked me though, like for that first second though, you know, it's like, did a uh, you do it? I was like, no, no, she did it. She fucking did it, and and that only comes from my knowledge of just knowing knowing them of the anime, and basically it was a thing of well, now this she grabbed the death note. Watch the damn anime. She already like, you know what? I ain't gonna never give this anime a chance. I could watch that shit. I gotta see. <laughs> and then that scene I showed you. I gotta you. see exactly how the anime really was. I know about it due to my sister and other people talking about it, but I never actually watched Death Note. It's 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 a very psychological show that that kind of makes you think think like, well, yeah, like if you screw up on one little thing, like this one person can reveal all this information about about you. Especially since I kind of like the anime Misa better because basically she was kind of a scape, uh, she was a scapegoat for when um, L um, did actually think that Light was Kira because there are other Death Notes and other people kind of have um, uh, their own special abilities with them and everything. So Light was using her because she fell in love with um, him and shit, and she uh, and he uh, and he told her like, listen. 
while they're investigating me, you say 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 uh, you go out and you kill people to prove that I'm not Kira. You know, even though you know, like he is the first one. She was known as the copycat Kira. So you kind of have like this weird little thing of cat and mouse and trying to cover your tracks. This one is just, hey man, I killed a few people, man, for uh, my vagina. I asked her to stop. She didn't stop. So I killed her. And got off scot free. However, I left a loof in. However, possibly. A piece of paper and a calculus. Ho however, possibly. He Hell wanted is gonna kill me. house, didn't he? Uh, said something about a calculus book and he got off the plane and went over there and then was gonna write Light's name into the thing and I'm like it would have been a lot better if you would have just well, how turned into a get in the house and you saw him break that door down where were the people at that were living there they were probably in uh in mourning you know so you probably just kicked their door down conveniently they not there you kick their door down how do you kick a door down with that much force anyway uh, police officers do it. Like you kick it like in the right place. It? Well, you only kick it man, like um a near the um a block. Guy. Seriously, near say when you kick it near well, um uh, the door handle. Something to break it down with. They don't That's break. from metal doors. Yeah, but uh, it's stupid. Or thicker doors. I don't even know how he even got there that damn fast. Well, dude, like he was on the fucking plane man, like midday, and it was night when he got there. So you know, it's still some bullshit, man. Oh, I know it is, but still, it's the thing of. I don't have a problem with the actor of Light. I mean, um, uh, with uh, L. Light, Light, his father, Mia, everybody. Well, Willem Dafoe was also good, but of the five characters in this goddamn movie, well, six characters in this movie. God damn, man! Like, how do you drop a bomb this bad? But then again, it's like they're trying to Americanize shit, and it's like, look, you had like, if this was a like movies. TV series, you have time to adapt it properly. Like why don't like why don't you just make they one movie, animation, leave it right? off they somewhere? Can't do video game movies, right? I I mean like why can't you just make them so, so, so like do what they do like with with the part ones and twos when like you make one movie, you stop at a certain point, you make another movie, you stop at a certain point, then you finish it off with a final movie and finish it off somewhere else. Why the fuck don't they do that? Cause it costs too much money, or just make a TV series. I mean, yeah. I mean, what like Americans want to watch it. You know, the only reason man, why they don't want to watch it is because it's anime BS. So again, you have the live action like like um stuff like yeah, they to, got to make the actual watch anime it. on Netflix as well. You know, and Hulu and Funimation. I mean, like this. I mean, this They're is like ghost things out here. I mean, this is Ghost in the Shell all over again, where basically it's like, look, you can complain all about, about man, the whitewashing or the blackwashing, whatever, but I'm like, when you really look at it, it's like, you had a good chance to take a already made story and just make it good or condense it down so people can can uh, like it. And this is and this is the Silent Hill movie all over again, where. Where basically it's like, yeah, man, like instead of us just making a random town, man, where people like worship, say worship the devil, yeah, man, we're gonna make a weird coal mining town where people like, like witch burn in the night, say like in 1987, like who does that? <laughs> who does that? Shit, man, we only 20 minutes into it. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Jesus, like. Who does this garbage, man? I don't know, man. It's, it's crazy. This this They're makes me afraid. Anime. They should have did this. This makes me afraid of of like if if uh, Mizuki ever becomes popular enough to where they it gets a live action movie. I'm I'm like, dude, we we will need to be on set. Oh, okay, okay. You do not dress Sean Mizuki like that. He doesn't act like that. He doesn't say those words, and he does not do that. Stop. Who wrote the script? Give, bring me your hands, all right? Made, I have, bring me your me hands. I have to break your knuckles. Actual purple serious princess. It's like, come here, That'd like, epic. say, come here, give me, say, come here, give me your hands, like, say, say, like, put them, say, put them up on this table. I'm, I'm about to break your knuckles. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, come here, man. All right, let's wrap it up. Screw this movie and screw the people who actually acted in it, minus L and Willem Dafoe. 
Yeah, other than that, the movie sucked. Me and was predictable, like was stupid, stupid, stupid. His father is a goddamn idiot. Oh my god. Later. Watch, just watch, just watch the anime. Damn.